Hello and welcome back to my magic world of Zine. Um, I'm right now in the magic guild and I bought some new spells. Mostly for Spock. Um, not really, I can't go multiple things by just holding down. Come on. <laughs> but yeah, I got him, I think, the... Uh, the fireball spell, yes. And also levitation. So that might come in handy. But I also am out of gold. And I do need gold to get swimming. Which is something I definitely want to get right now. I can teach anyone to stay afloat for 250 gold. Well let's give that to Chekhov. I need 500 more gold, basically. Actually, well, uh, nah. I'll go through the other sewer entrance, because I want to uh, get the reward, because apparently one of the rats that we fought last time was actually the queen rat. And uh, we just... <laughs> Got rid of her without even knowing that. Okay. You've killed the queen rat! Here is your reward! Thanks! Not bad. Chainmail. Chainmail? What? Power chainmail. What's that? Uh, if I could find my clue book. I could tell you. Power is probably some stat, or maybe. Uh, well, let's see. Power, 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 power. I think that's might, actually. Yeah, wow. Plus 30 to might. That is pretty awesome. Chainmail is something for. robbers. Okay. Well, the crystal one adds plus one to AC, but then again, if you look at this, Scotty already has the most AC, so I think I'm quite fine with giving him the power chainmail. Eh? Huh? Eh? Huh? What? Adds energy resistance? What? That that's not what it's written in the clue book. Huh. Okay, so there are two power things. There's might power and there is actually energy power. So that adds 13 energy resistance. Uh in that case I probably want to keep the crystal chainmail. Well I don't know. Energy resistance is okay, but then again I don't really need it right now, so I think I'll be fine with the crystal chainmail. Yeah, you're fine with that. And there's a box that we could open, but it's not recommended. Highly not recommended at this point. Okay, well, I didn't pick this up. And this is nothing. Okay, I went here but didn't check this. There's nothing here, yeah. Okay, now in this place, I can go to one of the two directions. Huh, I actually want to go here. Because there's... Nothing but sewer slugs and a drain. Oh, ring. Uh, 
that's... Oh, a toxic ring. Huh, that's not bad. It means I want to give it to the person with the least poison resistance. 15, 17... 7, 10... 17... 22... So, is Scotty himself? Okay. So, equip the toxic ring. Now that's up to 32. Not bad. Alright, from here, um, I think... I want to go down right now. Yeah, now we have energy weapons, yay. <laughs> and yes, now we are back in this place. Now, did I really explore everything in this place? Let's just double check. Okay, I've been there. I've been here. I've been there. I've been there. And I have not been right here. Where does this lead? I don't really appreciate ambushes, although these ones are pretty inconsequential. Oh, hi there. Sewer rats. Oh. Oh. Barrels, eh? And we are... Oh. Huh. Okay, that's right outside the uh, magic guild. Okay, that's good to know. There are barrels, and what's here? I helped invent the compass. For a mere 1,000 gold, I can teach you to read it so you will always know your direction heading. That's a ripoff. No. Okay, these things. Honestly, I don't think I want to bring these. Yeah, it's red liquid, would give us might. Uh, but... Yeah. It also diseases, I'm pretty sure, and... Uh, we are actually close to getting the cure disease spell, and cure poison. So I think I want to wait a bit until we get that, and then I can collect all of these things. Because I really don't like losing time and doing things like that. Okay, now I want to go here. And go here. That's a lot of slugs. Still nothing. Aha! Uh -huh. Another ring. Oh, a venomous ring. Another poison resistance thing. So let's see. 17. 15. Okay, so give it to Sarek. Alright, 25 poison resistance. Not bad. Okay, well, next up is something to the south. Okay, so I've been here, I have not been over here. Rats. How come nothing hit there? Huh.
Okay. Huh. Double kill. Alright. Another ring. Wow, we're getting rings left and right. Ooh, a lucky ring. Uh, yeah, you can have it, Scotty. You have equipped all the rings you can. Really? Really? You can only get two rings. Right, fine. What rings do you have? Swift and Toxic. I might want to give the Swift ring to someone else, actually. Yeah, let's give it to Chekhov. Lucky ring. Wow, that's a lot of luck, actually. But yeah, his speed is just above these spellcasters. And now equip the swift ring, and now you're pretty fast. Good. I hope there is going to be some treasure here. Otherwise, things would be very unfortunate. Nothing here. Nothing here. Yes, something here. Another ring. Archmage ring. Well, color me interested. I think that adds... Spell points? Yes, plus 20 spell points. That's not bad. So, who needs spell points the most? Actually, it's always the paladins that need the spell points the most, so I think I'll give it to Sarek. Except he already has a magical ring. A magical ring is actually something that increases your magic protection, and it doesn't give you spell points. So I think I can just give it to... yeah, I'll give it to Spock, because why not? Actually, yeah, okay, he has still places to put rings into, so uh, equip the Archmage ring and equip the Magical ring. Good. 60 spell points, not bad, yeah. Okay, next. Nothing. Wow, really? All that for an Archmage ring? Oi. It's not a bad ring, but, you know, I kind of need to have some money. Eh, and I don't think I have anything to sell right now. Well... Actually, I do have the power chainmail, that's right. But yeah, I think I have... visited everything in here? Yeah. Okay. So now all I need to do is actually go outside of the sewers. So basically in this game sewers are pretty much the equivalent of caverns under towns in Isles of Terra. And they're only in the dark side. The light side just has larger towns with more things to do. Does this guy have anything more to say? It's good to see you again! Not really. And it's night time. Uh, it's not that different from daytime, because it's the dark side. And in this case, it means uh, the side that it's not facing the star. So, does she have anything else to say? I hope you found something to do with that key. Thanks again for finding my necklace. Uh, not yet, but I am in fact going to do that right now. Let's go visit Ellinger and actually uh, advance the main plotline for once. So I guess... What we would like to ask Ellinger is what that orb is all about. 
and how we can help the Dragon Pharaoh. So let's go inside. How did you get a key? Alright, go in. Really? Okay, that's not something I expected, but okay. So we're back in clouds or something? Because City 1 is clouds. City 2 is uh, dark side. Intruders, answer the following question or be destroyed. Uh, a barbarous villain has been robbing and killing travelers in the mountains for months. Your liege charges you with the task of putting a stop to his crimes as quickly and efficiently as possible. After a lengthy search, you confront the bandit in his hideout. During the battle that ensues, you strike your wicked opponent's sword from... Uh, well, let me read that in... Uh, liege... Okay... You strike your wicked opponent's sword from his hand. Do you chivalrously allow him to retrieve his weapon, knowing that he may yet defeat you in battle and continue his crimes, or do you slay him unarmed and honor your oath to your liege? Hmm... Hmm... I guess the honorable thing to do would be to give him the weapon. <laughs> Allow him to retrieve his weapon. I cut him down where he stands. Um, I just don't know. Huh, interesting. I guess I allow him? Yes. I should probably save. What is this? I can see a castle. The mirror does not respond. Hmm. I just want to see Ellinger, come on. What is this, anyway? Cabinet. Oh. <laughs> Boots. So that's what that guy meant when saying that Ellinger has a fondness for boots. Good, we can sell those. <laughs> Gold boots, wow. Um, I'll give it to someone, then. Spock, possibly? He has iron boots. Gold boots are better than iron boots. So yes, I'll give it to him. No, not that. The boots. 18. Nice. Now Kirk has... Venomous boots. Uh, you can get the iron boots. Venomous boots, equip the iron boots, and then give the venomous boots to whoever has regular boots. Pretty much everyone. Okay, then, who has least resistance? 17, 25, 32, 17. I'll give it to Chekhov. Now I can sell the leather boots. Yay. <laughs> yes. More boots. It's another pair of gold boots. Wow. Okay, in that case, give it to Bones. What is that? I can see the New World Computing logo. Maybe. Oh. Oh. So yeah, this is a Tower of Crypts and Traps. Interesting. It doesn't have any enemies, by the way. More boots. Platinum boots! Wow. Huh. 
Well, I guess that means I'll give them to Spock. And give the gold boots to Bones, I guess. And then... Give iron boots to Scotty. Alright. Say once again. And... Uh, there's the second floor of the tower, but I cannot access the rest of this tower part. Hmm. That's strange. And yes, there are different tower musics too. Hmm. Hmm. That was strange. There's lava. Okay, I can press that. I can press that. Does this stay pressed? Oh, that cleared the lava. Okay. More boots. Well, I guess I'll just keep them. Yeah, platinum boots. Just keep them. Because, yeah, there are no enemies here, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so these clearly move lava tiles. Oh, this completely removed them. Nice. More platinum boots. Oh. Ah, that opened that. What is this? Book of Electricity. I think that might be electricity resistance. Yes. And everyone can have it. That's very nice. Continuing forward, there's still this thing that's controlled by one of these switches, I think. Right, you need to reset it with this one. Okay, that removed that, but that didn't remove that. This removed that, but did not remove this. This still did not remove this, but it did remove that. Okay, and this removed this. Okay. We got this. Book of Fire. Nice. Okay, that's very nice. And there's a crate and stairs upwards. Maybe, so it's empty, yeah. Alright, now we're in level 3 of the tower. I think tower is... That's weird. I think towers typically have four floors. That's empty, clearly. No! Okay. Still no. Huh. And there's another way up, huh? Oh, this just opens that, probably. Yeah. Okay. 
this still is no. This is still empty. Okay, well. Let's go look at this. Ow. Uh, not too bad. This is no. This is yes. <laughs> boots! Boots galore! And gauntlets. Oh, gauntlets are good. Steel gauntlets. Quartz and ebony boots. Okay. Well, that's certainly something we can sell. Okay, I can go either up there or up the other way around. I guess I'll rather go here. Who do you seek? Ellinger. You may pass. Thank you. Man, Ellinger, your throne has seen better days. Welcome! I'm glad you made it to the top of my tower. I'm sorry you had to run the gauntlet to get here, but my defenses are necessary to keep Alamar's agents and spies from my door. Yeah, I see that you hold the Dragon Pharaoh's orb. The orb is the source of the Pharaoh's magic, and without it he is unable to combat Alamar. He released the orb into the world to find adventurers willing and capable of helping him, and it is very important that you return it to him. The Dragon Fellow has sealed the pyramid from invaders, just as I have sealed my tower, so you will be unable to enter the royal pyramid without the key. Fortunately, we know where a key is, Queen Kalindra's castle. Unfortunately, Alamar moved the castle out of phase when he kidnapped the queen, and it will be impossible to enter it until the castle has been restored to our world. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's good to know. The castle can be restored to our world by casting certain complex spells powered by energy disks. Energy disks are rare magical batteries that can be used to power great works of magic, such as restoring the castle. I recently used the last of my energy disks, protecting this tower from infiltration, and I haven't a clue where others may be found. Restoring the castle will require 20 energy disks to power the necessary spells. I don't have to restore the entire castle at once, so every five energy disks will enable me to restore a fourth part of the castle. Before you set about your new task, I would like to give you a little something to help you on your way. You will be able to find your gifts in the chest that runs away from you in the southwest part of Castleview. I will instruct it to stay still long enough for you to get what is inside. Oh, well, so that's the trick to that chest. That's a lot of experience, wow. Ah, I see you have energy disks for me. I will need five energy disks to power the spells that will restore the first level of the castle. Keep the disks with you and return when you have at least five. The world of Zeke is counting on you. Also, just like with the king... Wait. Oh. I guess that means that he took the discs and then gave it back. Because there's not enough of them. So, um... What, a, what was I saying there? Oh yeah, the voice for him certainly changed from the intro. Um, that's probably because World of Zine CD was made quite a few years later and probably the same voice actors were not available. Also, let's see what's in here. Nothing. Nothing. You sure have a lot of empty crates. Book of Sorcerer's Knowledge. Reading the book improves your mind, plus 25 intellect, permanent. Nice. 
And can I give it to everyone? As you read the book, the pages begin to swim before your eyes and your head begins to ache. The ache builds to pain, the pain to agony. Understanding belatedly that you shouldn't be reading the book, you put it back on the shelf, not, but not quickly enough to avoid getting hurt. Huh, okay. Wow, 50. That's, uh... Yeah. What was here? Oh, just a lamp. Booko Boots. Maybe. Uh, Kirk? Boots of Paradise by Elger J. Hoffenhager. Ah, lovely boots. Sweet leather footholders. Hard iron hobnail. How I adore thee. That's such a wonderful creation be upon thee in a f proof absolute of divinity. For how, indeed, could such a beautiful, elegant article of clothing spring from the mind of base and ignorable man? Such variety, such passion, such grace, and so simple a design. Oh, the pleasure of knocking boots with a bonny lass. To walk down the street and feel the cool air, to hear the click of boot heels on cobblestones. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Ellinger is weird. Alright, well, so that's it. And uh, next time, I guess we'll be exploring the rest of Ellinger's tower and... Uh, and getting swimming. So, I'll see you all then. Later.